It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastsofwar.com. Alright everybody, welcome back to Dawn of the Dark Age. Myself and Brian are having a look at one of the more classical fights that you're going to see in the Dark Age universe. We've yeah. got Forsaken on my side, Outcast on your side. You are not getting into New Ashkelon today. Well, we came here to trade, but we trade in pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on my side I've went for a very, very elite force. Uh, the first thing I have picked up, the mighty John on his mind. This is not something we have seen on the battlefield before. I think it's going to be interesting. I've got a couple of paladins sitting about. I've got some flock, and I've got one of the faithful. So, what what have you taken to actually hammer I, me down? I went with the the stereotype of we are nothing but scroungers. This is the outcast scavengers themselves, mm. uh, and I had to center it around another big boy, yeah. Mongo. Oh, uh, this will be interesting. We've got Mongo. We've got a couple of wasteland warriors, uh, a couple of brutes that look up to Mongo lovingly. Yeah, and one little tiny infiltrating scut. Uh, oh. I, I, there. Uh, well, you know, he's a cute little green-haired fella, and I want him in there to throw boomerangs at you. Oh, I remember the boomerangs. You should remember the boomerangs. Yeah, and the Wasteland Warriors. It'll I come back well. to you. <laughs> oh, yes. Well played. Okay, so we're at the top of round three. Let's see who's getting the initiative, eh? All right, here we go. Well, for myself, a five. Five. Well, uh, with my 20, I've decided that I'm going to let you go first. Uh... No, 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 no. Because of the way you've told me this works, I'm going to make you activate something first. All right. It's going to be Mongo. Hubbly. Oh All right. Um, so Mongo. Yeah. He is got four actions and move of three. Yeah. Uh, so I can get up there into the thick of things right now. And I kind of want to. I need to score some stuff. Uh, and I need to try and wear, wear some of your tough guys down. Um, well, uh, before we kick in, what are your secondaries? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, my secondaries, I've got Assassination, which is going to be particularly hard to do this turn because mm. either I'm going to kill lots of guys or probably nobody. Right. Uh, and that's the kill one and only one figure this turn. Right. Is it a targeted figure or is it just anybody? It's anybody. It's basically... And now, bad dice could mean I could accidentally get this. Yeah. If you kill one guy and then just mess up the rest of the round... Oh, you, here's a little bonus. It's a, by the way. Okay. Uh, but the one I'm probably going to go for is Cull the Weak. Okay. Uh, oh. Cull the Weak is I get to try and kill one of your guys that is the lowest point value. All right. Just, just to be clear, for fairness sake, that is these little dudes down here. These are my flock. They are 25 points apiece. These are the lavies. There is nothing incredibly special about them. You've just been handed a bladed pole arm and told you're in the army now, son. You know what? There is something special about them. They've earned Mongo's ire. Oh. I may have, I may have done a boo-boo. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So, with four actions, it means I get to move pretty quickly across the field. So my first two are going to get me... Ah, it's going to be short, though. So my first two get me here. Uh -huh. And then three... Quit shaking, tape measure. Not quite enough. And oddly enough, Mongo does not have reach. So he's going to move, get real close. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to just base these two. I don't think I can get to all three because you're spaced out just enough. Yeah. And so Mongo is going to hit you with his uber block. Uh, he has two swings. He gets to swing with one of each. I'm going to put one on both of you. Okay. One on each. Yeah. Okay. So uh, defense for me is six. All right. Uh, attack on the uber block is eight. Now, these are brutal, which means if you had the parry, you could not use it. Yep. And they have extreme damage. Against a flock, it's just overkill. I'm, I'm shooting for meaty salsa is what I'm going for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you're, you're looking to make some red jam in the wasteland today. All right. So, uh, six to your eight is... A 14, 14 15, 15 for the charge. charge. Yep. Go down. So, the one on the left, a 19. <laughs> Mongo miss. All right. Well, then the one in the middle... That's probably 12? I think it's cocked. Okay. That's 12. 12. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so no, Mongo's smashing Uber Block Crush is six times two. So seven times two on the charge. 
Uh, so my armor is 12, so I'm on five or last times two. Yep. Come on, Come Mongo. on. I have faith in you. Ah, ah see? Today is a very punny match. Uh, but, 19 oh my. and 14, he is pasted with four damage on him. Sp or no, two damage. Yeah. Because it's... it's yeah, so one, wait, one failed two. save, but only two, only two wounds. Uh, so Call of the Week goes into effect. I have scored one of my objectives. Okay. But Mongo is now completely forward, right next to John. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's, there, uh, he's tough, but we'll see if I can make it. Okay, uh, what's going to happen for me is I have two uh, secondaries as well. I have Brutal Assault, kill one enemy model with a charge attack. I then have Sentry, which is basically I have to get in contact with a designated objective that I choose and just spend an entire round on it, okay? Okay. And it's only when I reveal it that I'm saying I'm choosing this objective. Okay. Okay? So, but, uh, yeah. Uh, what am I going to do here? Yeah, I can't, I can't let this lie. I, I want to see what John does. Now, All with right. him being a mount, mm -hmm. uh, he has some extra abilities. So you will notice he has two cards. This is not a mistake. There are special abilities on one. All of the stats on the other. Yeah. So, uh, powered. Well, oh, power generator. When this model activates, it may power either its armor or a specific attack set. If armor is selected, you roll an additional d20 when making AR saves, discarding the highest result. After this is done, uh, if there is a result, a result of 16 or a higher anyway, he will automatically take 1 HP. Uh, if you take the attack, it basically gives you a powered up version of the attack. So, I'm going to go for the attack right now. Uh-oh, alright. So, uh, I've got the, an option here. So, I do have a ranged attack, but you're in melee, so I don't want to do that. So what I believe he's going to do, he's going to rock in with his Lawbringer. All right. So he's got four actions and a move of three. Let's see how much I need to spend to get in. I think it's going to be two. Uh, not quite. Well, you made it. So in one, he gets just about to there. Ugh. And this is going to suck. Okay, Mongo. There, you got this, buddy. You got Mongo this, Mongo. Mongo smash. I believe in you. That was my favorite flock. All right. So, uh, AS of 8. Uh, defense of 6. Okay. Uh, knockdown of 16. I'm a huge base model. Uh, is, he's huge. So is Mongo. So it's actually the it's going to be based off of your normal die. Okay. Uh, because he's powered, it's uh, 16 knockdown. It does give stun. It's got brutal and it's got extreme damage. Wow. All right. So, AS of 8. Uh, defense of 6. So 14, 15 for the charge. Does he have furious charge or anything crazy? Uh, it'll be on that second card. Just see. Commander, never panic. Power, overpower generator. Power generator, shockwave, strider, tough as nails, uh, vault. All right. He has vault? Ooh. Oh. Mm. Yummy. Okay, so, uh, so 15 or less I'm on? Yep. Okay. For the first attack, 15 or less. 17 is not going to do it. 17 is not going to do it. What is the mal on the powered version? Uh, 19. Okay, all right. So that's, that's I would something have really well. loved you for to hit yourself with that swing. Yeah. Well, I've I've got three more. Okay. Yay. Uh, this time on a fourteen. Okay. So first one, a four. That four will hits. My armor is eighteen, but you're hitting pretty hard. Uh, par of ten, and he actually has reach on both of these. Oh wow! So, so I didn't even need to go into base. Yep. All right. So uh, you know what? It's actually going to be power eleven because you've got a flock over there. Seven or less. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it's worse again because I'm... No, it's not charged. Not this time. Yeah. So, need a 7. Not on an 18. Uh, and you said it's extreme damage? Uh, yep, extreme damage. Uh, which means I take two of my wounds. Oh, this is not going to go Flat. well for Mongo. Uh, two more. Oh, no. No, no, no. Mongo die. Mongo needs to live a little further. I'll be an 18, so no. All right, but it's not a mal. You said it was a 19. It's a 19 for the malfunction, and I have one more. All right, please miss, please miss, <laughs> please miss. Let's see. A 13 will hit. Mm, sad. Mongo sad. All right, so how heavy does this thing hit? Uh, once again, it's still on the 10 because it's the pirate. All right, so it's 10 plus one for your friend. Yeah. Off my armor of 18. Seven so or less. Seven. Need a seven or Mongo, Mongo possibly like, Mongo goes no to like a, He's got Unstoppable. Okay. So he'll go to a knee, perhaps. How about a three? Oh, just survived. Mongo. Mongo angry. Mongo about to get shivved by the little guy. <laughs> Probably. All right. So let's, uh, 
Let's see what I can do here. Right. How many to, wins does he have? Just the one left? He's got four. Four total. Yeah, he's so he's got two, two left. Okay. Uh, and no way, I didn't bring a medic this time, so there's no way for him to get these back. <laughs> he's just, he's, he's going to be half dead forever. All right. So now, mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to go ahead, because I need to do something about this. Yeah. Um, I think my Wasteland Warriors here are going to go ahead and squad link the three of them. They've got a squad link rating of four. Uh-huh. Uh, so that's enough to do all three. Mm-hmm. And they are going to see if they can't, because I'm kind of afraid for that Paladin to run in there and sneak in a shot. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to play around. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks with these fabulous, fabulous little little fellas. Okay. All right. So they are going to move up twice, or this one is. Yeah. It's going to move up. Saying on my finger. Yeah. It's going to move it's up twice. It's getting a little warm, so we're getting sweaty. <laughs> everywhere. Uh, and then this Wasteland Warrior is going to use his zip gun. On the Paladin? On the Paladin. Okay. It has a range of 10, so it's actually a really long distance. It's what it's shooting is a little hooked tether. Buzz. I remember these. They, they do horrible things when you're standing on top of a building. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah. That, that was fun. Yeah. Uh, so defensive six. Uh, so my assault is five. Uh, looking at 11. Yep. Not on a 16. The mal on a, a zip gun is 17, thankfully. So I just, I'm, I'm, I missed. I'm <laughs> guessing it's 17 because it's quite the ramshackle construction. Yeah, the scavengers have put their stuff together. Uh, yeah, rusty bits of oh, iron. speaking of scavenge, I actually forgot that that, or that guy who I smushed became a scavenge token. Ah. I actually completely forgot about that. All right, so we've got Trying again. this one. It's actually only going to move to here uh -huh. to be able to take that shot yep. as his second AP. Uh -huh. So 11 or less again, I believe. 15, also a miss. Yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> uh, and his third action is going to be to get out of the way mm -hmm. for this one. So two actions to get to that corner. Uh-huh. And take a shot. Pew. Come on. Do it. Go you on. can do it. There's a four. All right. Okay. So it hits at a power four. So it actually still you know, has, it has a sharpened hook that could kill you. Armor 20. Not likely to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 20 minus 4, 16. So you need yep. 16 or less, or you take a wound. Uh huh. 15. All right. So. Put a dent in it. Yeah. All right. Now, here's the thing Zip Gun has knockdown and pull. Ah. So under knockdown, it's if I hit you after the AR saves are made, we make a d20. Now, they're still man sized, correct? They're medium. Uh, these guys are large. They're large. Wow. Okay. Uh, which means my knockdown of 12 is going to become a knockdown of 10. Not on a 12. Ouch. Exactly what I did before. All right. And then pull. Mm -hmm. When this attack hits a model after air saves are made, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The same thing. It's basically the exact same set of rolls mm. uh, to find out if I, if it works, we roll that number. Mm. Uh, if I do, the model is moved directly toward this model until it's in base contact. Okay. Unless you fall off the edge of a building. Or unless you fall off the edge of a building. All right, so the pull on this is 12. You are larger than me, so it goes down to 10. 50-50. There's four. a four. All right, so... Now, the idea here was originally to pull you in with the first one so the other two could run up and beat on you with all their activations. Yeah, yeah. This hopefully... This will not work against me in the long run. I might get to kill one of them. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And I'm, you're denying me charge attacks there. Correct. Which, if I'm correct, Brutal Assault is one of your missions. Yep, it is. So it's kind of working in my favor, maybe. Mm. All right, uh, what I'm going to activate next is actually my two flock. Oh, okay. So they are going to squad link because they have flock six. So you could have six working together. Up to six guys working together with the flock keyword. Yep. So I'm going to start with the little guy at the front here. Okay. He's going to take a dig at Mongo. All right. Uh, this is probably very, very brave. Uh, saw strike one. So it's an AS of four. Okay. My defense of six, you need a 10. 11 because of your friend. Yep. Uh, so let's see what we get there. A four. <laughs> so I hit. And then it's a power of four going to five for okay. my friend. Uh, my armor is 18, so I need a 13 to avoid being wounded. 14. If these little guys kill my Mongo, <laughs> I'm going to be super sad. And now what I was planning with the other one, who you can see is not in base contact, mm -hmm. you're now in your last wound. Uh, well, He's your first gonna... guy still has two more swings. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Oh, so you're, you're being like, just ignore your last I couple wanted, of... Uh, the, my key there was I wanted to get at least one wound there, right? Makes sense. Because... I could try and humiliate Mongo by charging him with the last flock. 
And having three attacks. Three attacks, and if you kill me on the first one, uh, that's with the charge attack for brutal assault. Bingo. Okay. So you, you see my cunning plan? I do, I do, I do. It's it, worth a shot. It's so gonna, It's gonna fail. He's got a little bit of space to move in. All right. Into Rawr. this. And All charge, right. and he now has two friends helping him. Yep. Which is fantastic. So he gets his first saw blade, saw blade strike with an AS of four, goes to F5 for charging, mm -hmm. uh, versus your defense. Six. Uh, so that's 11. Yep. Uh, 11 plus one for each friend. Yep. Uh, so that's 13 or less. Up to a maximum of plus three. Yep. 13 or less. A 20. Nope. Do they uh, they have a mal on their weapon? No, they do not. All right. It's just a, so it's just losing the second it's, activate it's action point It's literally a well. pull with a better sharp metal on the end. Yeah. But he does have one more action to All try right. and finish you off. So, um, let's see. On a 12 or less this time. A 2. All right, that hits. All right. So, uh, uh, it's par 4. All right. Uh, plus 1 for each friend. Goes to 6. 6. Need a 12. A one. A one. Critical scene. Mongo love. Mongo just looked at this little guy running at him and just planted that big shield in front of him, and now he's sat there going, ding, 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 ding. ding. Oh, well, your activation? All right, so that little scut, he is going to get in con... Where is my range on my boomerang? You got eight-inch range on that Actually, something boomerang. important. Oh, all right. Uh, I believe my attack has stun from John. <gasps> I was wounding you. Probably. So, yeah, it has stun and knocked down 16. Oh, my. So I forgot to roll for the knockdown. I'll quickly do that now. All right. Uh, three. All right. I will be prone. That's definitely because we're both the same size, so it'd be 16 or less. Yeah, but my, right. my stuff that I was wanting to hit, hit anyway. Yeah. And my failure was a 20, so no difference. No worries. Uh, all right. So my scut is mm -hmm. going to come over here to this other window. Can I get to the window? I can uh, get to the window. Over to here? Uh, I'm trying to get so I can hopefully get 8-inch... Oh, don't fall, fella. There we oh, go. Okay. Eight inches. I'm going to try and whip a boomerang at that faithful. So, from here down here. Yep. Interesting. All right. Roll me. Roll me just in here. Uh, well, I got to figure out what I'm going to hit worse. Oh yeah. Uh, Six, assault of four. So need a ten. No elevation bonuses or anything. Not in the case of this. Uh, the best reason why you're on elevation for this is if there were other terrain and things between us, I would kind of look down over the top. Gotcha. Of it. Gotcha. There's a three. That will help. All right, so first thing, you take a whiplash. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a stun marker for that. Uh huh. Um, and then you take a power one hit. Really? That's exactly I true. I forgot how weak these guys are. They, they are designed to knock you around, not necessarily drop you. All right, so I need 15 or less. Yep. Oh, on a 16, that will be a wound. All right. Ha -ha. Two, two wound miniature. And then my, uh, so my you, boomerang returns to me. And, give him a haircut. And as his third action, he will celebrate. In fact, actually, as his third action, he's going to pull back into the shadows to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he poked out, went... Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. All right, Dan. Yeah, that's the game we're playing. Uh, right, what I have left is a paladin and a faithful. Now, you've got those two brutes up the top end, and I can't really just leave them sitting there. So... Uh, the Paladin, who has been untouched, is going to activate. I've got three actions, movement of three. So let's start charging up the field. So over to here, I am going to be brave and stand before the two brutes, calling at them to come and get me and to get out of this forsaken facility. Now, normally I would never tell my opponent something awesome, but you know, we're friends. We can okay. do this. Because of one of your missions, just in case, because I'm probably going to charge you. Actually, fair point. You you may want to stop a little short and be on that objective. Yeah. Because I'm close enough to charge you, but you're really tough, so we're probably going to sit there for a turn. Yeah. Uh, select one objective marker. This objective is complete when one friendly model begins and ends the same activation in contact with it. So in next turn, if you could live all the way through the next turn fighting off my brutes, yeah, I score. you'll score it kind of by accident. Thank you. Thank you for that. that yeah, no is, worries. Don't forget your objectives. Important thing, guys. Absolutely. All right. So speaking of my objectives, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that if you screw up, and only, if I screw up and only kill one guy and then the dice betray me for the rest, yeah, that's what's happening here. Yeah. So I, for me to be able to score assassination, I could absolutely just rush my brutes in and just start pounding on this paladin, mm -hmm. like going out of style. But instead, what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skirt him. And I'm going to start heading this direction to come deal with John because Mongo's about ready to die. 
Okay. Interesting so tactic. it's going to score me my mission at the end of the round because mm -hmm. I know I'm not killing anybody else for the rest of this turn. Yeah. And it's going to hopefully eliminate this side of the board a little bit while I whip boomerangs at you all day long. Yeah. So they're going to squad link. Uh-huh. And then, the, ouch. And then they are going to run this way. Yeah. Uh, did you get stabbed by a bit of terrain? I did get stabbed by a little bit of terrain, but I'm all right. Okay. I'm a tough guy. I can handle it. Okay. Yeah. So they're going to there. All right. Yeah, so they just slid around here. They saw this paladin coming forward, and they're like, nope. Nope. Mongo just yelled out in pain. <laughs> Mongo, help! Help Mongo! And so there yeah. he's on his way. Okay, cool. Uh, right, well, the last thing I have is my Faithful, who does have that stun counter on him, so that knocks one of his One points. AP just goes away. Yeah, so I'll... I'll remove that now because he's activating. Excellent. He only has two AP left, movement of three, so he's he's kind of going to follow suit. Uh, so from where he is, he's going to start charging six inches across the tabletop to maybe run in and help with some of the Wasteland Warriors because there's quite a few of them over there. And I think that will be turned. All right. So, so. then, uh, oh, nope, that's actually not true. Despite the fact that he moved, uh -huh. I moved him. You oh, haven't yeah. actually activated that other paladin yet. Oh, thank you for reminding me. No problem. Very kind. <laughs> so, uh, this paladin down the front here is just going to stand there and take lumps out of the Wasteland Warrior in front of him. So, uh, for the attack, it's got reach. Ooh. So, once you clobber me, it is possible that you could start clobbering some other folks, too. Yeah, without even moving. Without yeah. wasting anything. Okay. So, uh, it's got bleed and brittle. Mm hmm So, I assume if I wound you and you live... Actually... Uh, models hit by this. So if I hit you, I'll you have, I will take a bleed counter no matter what. If you hit gotcha. me, the bleed counter goes on me and I could bleed out in the lingering phase. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, it's a one dice attack with an AS of six. Uh, defense of four. So ten or less. Yep. And rock and roll. Uh, five will hit. Alright, so let's see whether or not I even need the bleed counter. Uh, my armor's fourteen. Uh, power of five, so nine. Let's look at a nine. There's a big five. So I lived through that, yep. but I'm still bleeding. Yep. Clobbered so me enough. Let's right. go again. Uh, I'm actually going to target the other one. Excellent. All right. So Just, you can reach over and give that one a slap. Yeah, because you're already bleeding. Uh, 20 as a feel. Is it a mal on their flail? Mm, no mal. Or a scourge? But it means that I've burnt... Uh, Second and third activation. Yes. All right. So now... Truthfully, the turn is over. We go into the lingering phase. Yeah. Uh, read under your card what bleed counters do, because I have to roll to see what happens. Okay. Uh, so, uh, during the lingering effects phase, roll a d20, and a result of 11+, plus, this model loses 1 HP. Remove the, the bleed counter. A model may only have one bleed counter at a time. All right. So, on a, on a 10 or less, I'm fine. My wound is healed. I've rubbed some dirt on it. I've rubbed some dirt on it. We're okay. Okay. Well, this is getting interesting so far. Mongo looks like he's in trouble, but he might be able to activate, turn around, and give John a good crack in the face. Uh, things are running across. I think we're going to call this one. I think the keys for this video are keep an eye on your objectives. Do not forget them. Be careful of your big guys. Yes, they do a lot, but if there is another big guy out there, be worried about him getting the counter charge on you. Yeah. And uh, basically, sometimes little guys, they can hurt the big guys. It's very true. So uh, myself and Brian are going to move across the backstage here where we're going to finish up the next round of this. Come across and join us, get your comments below, we will see you over there. I'm actually going to try and take off that Hanyol, remember my objectives. Yeah, yeah, so... Comedy six. is not, comedy is not going to get in the way of victory today. So, six to begin with. So, six goes up to, or your defense is six. Yep. My effective assault is six, so need a twelve. And with your aim shot? Normally it's a four. Okay. Not on a 19. <laughs> well, so my boomerang with a mal of 19, um, I miss you, <laughs> and apparently I also missed the catch. So I just hit myself with an effective power of three because it was an aimed shot. Yeah. Uh, so my, t oh, oh, my poor little guy. Uh, so I'm going to have whiplash no matter what, but yeah. my armor's only 10 because I'm a kid in a shirt and shorts. Mm. Uh, so I'm looking at a seven or less. Flames of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastsofwar.com to find news, tactics and tutorials about the game. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastsofwar.com.